Hare Krishna, today is February 11th, and we're going to talk about false ego. The false ego doesn't like humility. It likes glory, acknowledgement, and honor. Therefore, it needs darkness to stay alive. In fact, it relishes it. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the truth, it's very disturbing, it's very heavy, and often very difficult to face. And sometimes Prabhupada says something which is so exacting, it's so perfect, it's so correct, and it's so right, and no one speaks that way. And sometimes we may say, wow, that's really heavy. But actually, it's not always that it's heavy. I think a more accurate word is that is so true. And the truth is heavy. And that's why we say it's heavy. But Prabhupada is just speaking the truth as it is. There's no sugar on it. There's no spice on it. It's just as it is. And sometimes the false ego just doesn't like to see things as they are. We don't like to see ourselves as we are. That's the difficulty. So, Humility, uh, one definition of humility, which I like very much, is humility means reality. And that means see things as it are, as they are. So, for example, low self-esteem means to see things lower than they are. And egotism or pride means to see yourself, see things better than they are. You're seeing yourself in an unrealistic way. The false ego, that's what it does. It makes us see ourselves in an unrealistic way, much, much better than we are. Now, low self-esteem, you might say, well, is that a lack of false ego? No, because what happens with people who have low self-esteem, they tend to overreact and show off to balance it. So they're some of the most arrogant people around. So low self-esteem has nothing to do with humility. It generally produces arrogance. So, what is the false ego like? It likes glory, it likes acknowledgement, it likes honor. The false ego dwells in these things. And now the problem is that when you come to Krishna consciousness, when you come to spiritual life, you're not supposed to be coming to get ego gratification. In a sense, you're coming to get the ego shrunk, or defl I often say deflated, deflate your ego. But really what you're coming is to correct your ego from false to real. So spiritual life doesn't, isn't meant to offer gratification to the ego. And so if you come to spiritual life looking for ego gratification, then you're going to have a problem. Right? And you probably already know if you, because we all have ego. The ego needs darkness to stay alive. In fact, it relishes it. So if humility means to see things as they are, then pride would mean darkness, to see things as they, not, as they are not. So by seeing things as they are not, I don't see my actual position. Therefore, my, my analysis of myself is puffed up. It's, it's far beyond what I am that gratifies the ego. I live in darkness. The ego thrives on darkness. It doesn't thrive on reality. And then in that darkness, I can think of myself as better than others. And when I start thinking of myself as better than others, that is the beginning of the end. Because advancement in Krishna consciousness means the devotee starts to see others better than him. When I see other devotees, I start to think, this devotee is, is so this or so that, sincere, knowledgeable, genuine, kind, tolerant, humble. I see those things. But when the ego is overtaking me, all I think about is how I'm better than them, how I have these good qualities that they don't have, how I'm smarter than them, how I should be in a better position, I am or should be in a better position than they're in. So false ego thrives in darkness. It doesn't like sunshine. What do we say? 
It doesn't like humility. It likes glory. It likes acknowledgement. It likes honor. It needs, therefore, darkness to stay alive. So when we shine the truth on the false ego, it will start to deflate. And so don't run away from the truth. Humility is so important in Krishna consciousness. Actually, it's essential. It's the symptom we're advancing, and it's the way we're going to advance. Spiritual life offers no gratification to the false ego. Don't look for it. It's, this is the wrong place. Iskand is not the place to get your ego gratified. Hare Krishna.